Let's go and find the zeros of this polynomial function raised to the fifth power. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace y with zero. The reason being, we wanna be able to find the values of x that are gonna satisfy the equation when it's equal to zero. The next thing I wanna do is see if I can factor out any common terms. Hopefully recognize that all three of these terms are divisible by x, so I can go ahead and factor that out and rewrite it as a product. All right, the next thing I recognize here is that this is a trinomial. And I know from my practice of quadratic trinomials that all trinomials can be factored, or if they can be factored, well actually they can, they can always be factored down into a product of two binomials. Okay, so I'm gonna write down my product of two binomials. I know my first two terms always multiply to give me an x to the fourth. Now for quadratic trinomials, x times x gave me x squared. But in this example, I need them to multiply to give me an x squared or x to the fourth. So I'm gonna raise the power of my two factors to x squared times x squared. That's critically important because again, remember, our inner and our outer need to both be the same term if our middle term's gonna be an x squared, which in this case, it's negative four x squared. Now I look at this and I say, what two numbers multiply give me three and add to give me a negative four? Ladies and gentlemen, I only have one option, x minus three and x minus one. Now you can see I have a product of factors equal to zero. So I can apply the zero product property. So by taking each factor, setting equal zero, I can now go and solve. So I have one zero, x equals zero, add three, take the square root, include plus or minus. So x equals plus or minus the square root of three, add one, take the square root, x is going to equal plus or minus one. Now I have found all five zeros with a multiplicity of one of this polynomial function.